everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week is National Breastfeeding Week and I thought it would be a great week to put up a video about breastfeeding. So at 14 months old, I started weaning Caleb off. At that stage, he was really having some milk at nap time, at bedtime, during the night, and if he needed a little bit of comforting. So the first thing I took out was the comfort nursing. It was a little bit harder to comfort him without the breast milk, but I just felt like just nice cuddles, he was still close to them, his hand went down my top and he still felt love and nurturing Mint, nurturement from me uh, without the actual, without actually having breast milk. So that was the first thing that actually was really quick. So the next thing then was getting rid of the nap time breastfeeding. So I would make sure that he had a really good lunch, that he had juice and I know but controversial, we're not the best at sleeping at this house. I was cuddling him to go for a nap. I tried to kind of give him the same uh, nurturement that he was getting from the breast milk. I gave him his sippy cup of diluted blackcurrant juice and he kind of took that and he did really well. For nap time, um, again, he would need a little bit of breast milk, not only to get off to sleep, but to kind of calm down. So we really made sure that our nighttime routine was kind of really tightly tuned. Yeah, I just made sure that all of his other needs were taken care of. He didn't have a wet nappy, wasn't hungry going to bed. He now wakes up once a night and then I just give him juice or water in his sippy cup. So I got pregnant while I was breastfeeding. Right now I am 20 weeks and four days today. The last feed I was giving him was the feed before bed. Um, I was starting to cry. It was so sore. It was so painful. And I just said to my husband, I can't do it. Like, let's see if you can get him to bed first. And then if he really needs it, I'll give him breast milk. So we were only down to a one day feed. It was at night time. And my husband started putting him to bed. And the first night, I just didn't give it to him. And I was kind of like, okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to wonder if I see any changes in myself. But I didn't. So then the second night came and I said, we've only done one night. I'm not going to do it and that just continued. It just went one night to the next night to the next. I just have absolutely no tips for engorgement. I didn't go through it. I do think because I was pregnant I thankfully escaped that. I think my breasts just stopped. They stopped making milk and they were absolutely fine. It was the simplest, easiest way to end breastfeeding ever. Um, yeah, just my tips for weaning, if you're not pregnant, <laughs> is to do it slowly and make sure that you're comfortable and happy and they're comfortable and happy. And yeah, I think that's the only way to do it really. Happy National Breastfeeding Week. It is definitely something worth doing. It is definitely something you are gonna be so proud and amazed at yourself for doing. Don't forget that there is support out there. I joined Quidu. I will leave a link for that below. They are an amazing organization, parent to parent. It's not just about breastfeeding, but they do have breastfeeding counselors that come to meetings once a month. And when I went through a biting phase with Caleb, they were so good. They gave me encouragement to continue and they kind of taught me how to stop the biting process altogether. So definitely look in your your local area look for support if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I would love to get to a hundred subscribers before Christmas or by the end of the year that kind of range so please please show me some love and support yeah thanks so much for watching bye